guess where I am? <laughs> this video is going to be a little kind of montage of moving back, plus some boat projects that I've been getting along with since I've been back. Um, I've actually been back for a few weeks now, but I didn't have anything sort of complete to show you um, until now. So <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> because it's pretty chilly here and I'm about to have some dinner I brought some leftovers with me from home because I haven't had time to go shopping yet this is butternut squash vindaloo and it's delicious I even have dessert today my mum last night made this incredible vegan cheesecake because it was my last night and I am very much looking forward to eating this decided to come back to the boat there were a few projects and things that I wanted to do just to make the space a little bit more comfortable to live in and um, one of them was to replace this light fitting because it is fluorescent light fitting and the colour of it is absolutely horrible as demonstrated <laughs> it's just not something you really want when you're like chilling out in the evenings it gives me a bit of a headache um, so I've bought an LED fitting which should be a sort of nice warm white colour um, and I'm hopefully going to install that today I need to figure out how to remove this one and then put the new one in um, so I'm about to turn off the cabin light circuit um, these lights by the way are not on that circuit okay so as far as I can work out what I need to do is to pull off this cover I think um, Oh, it seems to come off. Okay, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, and there's got to be some, oh yeah, I see some screws in there, so I just need to take those off, take this down, figure out what's going on with the wires. You can see a little connector here, um, and then, yeah, trying to connect up my new one. I'm not sure if I might have to take down this panel if I want the connector to be behind the panel but we'll see all right so I can now see where the wires come through and this is kind of still being held up by the wires I need to disconnect those they're connected in kind of a weird way I'm not sure if I might have to Take the switch off. It seems to just loosen. Okay. So take this out. And then I guess I just loosen I think I take off this connector and then it should all come off. So I seem to have lost the screwdriver bit that's the right size to get the screws out of this connector. Um, I have a whole bunch more connectors, so I think it's probably easier just to slip the wire, so that is what I'm going to do. Okay, light fitting is free, and I have my wires to connect up the new one. So this is the new light fitting, it's um, wired a bit more simply than the other one because the other one you can see it had a separate bit going to the switch whereas I think with this one all of that is kind of handled inside or something I don't really know how it works all I have to do is just connect red to red and black to black so <laughs> it should be pretty simple now this connector is pretty big and if I put it under the light fitting then the fitting is not going to sit flush with this panel so I'm going to take this panel down or at least loosen it a bit so that I can put the connector behind the panel because I think there should be enough space behind there. I 
just need to strip the end off of these wires before I can attach the new light fitting and see if I can figure out what size this is supposed to be. Okay, I have some shiny new ends on these wires. I'm going to pull them through the panel and try to attach this connector on the other side, which I think is going to be a massive pain in the bum. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. These wires are just not quite long enough to make this a straightforward task. I should really take the panel all the way down. Okay, that's one connection. That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Two connections, yay! Next step will be to thread these wires through. Okay, those feel secure. So, I need to screw this on, but before I do that, I want to make sure that it actually works. Let's put the circuit back on for a minute and try flipping this switch. Damn it! <laughs> no! Okay. Well, let's hope there's a troubleshooting. Look, I did it! <laughs> I figured out what was wrong. I would turn this off because it's way too bright. What I had done wrong was um, one of the wires I pushed it in too far. So the screw was coming down onto the coating on the wire so it wasn't forming a connection so i just had to pull it out slightly and then tighten it again and that works so yes <laughs> i'm way too excited um so what i need to do now is just to put the screws in and put the cover on so that it's not so blinding and that's that make some holes with this little handheld drill. Um, there's six screw holes which is excessive in my opinion. I think a couple will do. Well it turns out there wasn't as much space behind this panel as I thought so now instead of the light not sitting flush, the panel is not going to sit flush. But I guess sometimes you just can't win. Um, I think I can live with this not quite being flush for the sake of having nicer lighting. Um, maybe at some point I can swap the connector with a smaller one, but for now I guess this is just gonna be how it is. All test. Yay, look at that. That is gonna make a big difference. And now see if I can get these screws back in. <laughs> I haven't made this gap too big. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed watching me semi-successfully install a new light. The second project that I did was a table and this is something that has been on my wish list for a long time now. There was actually a table on the boat when we bought it but it was really big and it took up way too much space so Pulling it out was pretty much the first thing that we did after we bought the boat. Um, but we did keep the old tabletop and I decided to repurpose it to make one that would take up a lot less space. Um, so it folds down and then slides out when needed. Um, and rather than trying to <laughs> explain how it works, it's probably better if I just show you. And hopefully it's pretty self-explanatory just from watching the footage. But if anything's not clear, then just leave a comment and I will clarify.
just wanted to give some thoughts on the table after using it for a day or so. Um, it's definitely not perfect, I am going to have to make some changes. So originally I was planning that I would sit on this side. Um, the problem is this bit that the slide is amounted to um, comes down too far so your legs can get underneath but not very far forward so you can't sit as far forward as you would probably want to. I mean it's not a huge problem, it is, it is usable but maybe not ideal. Um, but something I've discovered that I wasn't actually expecting is that I can actually sit on the other side as well and still use this table if I kind of sit on the edge of the seat. So using it from this side is also an option and then there is enough space for my legs to go under but then it's just kind of a little bit too far away. Again still usable but just not perfect so um, I'm probably going to make some changes, I'm not 100% sure what I'll do. One possibility is this doesn't actually need to extend down so far so when I bought the brackets they were 10 inch brackets and I thought they would be 10 inches on both sides but actually it's only this part that's 10 inches and this part isn't so if I'd looked at that before I cut the wood I could have cut it to here instead and then possibly there might be enough space for my legs to tuck under I haven't measured to check if that is the case or not um, the other alternative change that I could make is rather than I could just shift this whole thing forward a bit and then it would come a few inches this way. And that way I could just, I could sit on this side and the table would come forward a bit more so that I don't have to sit right on the edge and kind of hunch forwards to get to the table. So um, yeah, there's these changes that I might need to make. The other thing that you might have noticed is that it doesn't actually fold perfectly flat. Um, I think that's because there's a problem with this bracket it's not quite I don't think you can tell right now but it doesn't when you fold it it doesn't quite fold the way it should and I did notice when I took it out of the pack and I was kind of playing around with it that it wasn't working perfectly um, so I might need to just kind of like bend it a little bit so that the table folds properly flat um, it's not the end of the world um, but yeah this is still a hell of a lot better than having no table at all. It's been really useful just to be able to put things down on it, like my sailing book. <laughs> um, especially if you've got something hot or whatever. So yeah, um, I'm pretty happy with it. I was actually pretty surprised how much it did go to plan because normally my projects don't always work the first time and it takes me a lot of faffing around to get things to work so I'm actually pretty pleased with this one maybe I'm getting better at DIY we'll see <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this video I've been really loving being back on the boat it's been amazing to have my own space again to have projects to get along with I, I feel like that just really helps my mental health if I have something to just work on and it just makes me happy that I can make changes that actually improve my living space so yeah, it's been brilliant. I'm hoping that maybe sometime soon I could get out for some sailing. I mean, don't hold your breath, but <laughs> I'm going to try and find someone that I trust to come along with me and take the boat out. We'll see if that happens or not. Sailing season is definitely here. The weather's starting to get warmer. We're getting a little bit more sunshine. I really want to get out there. I'm excited. <laughs> That's it for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and I'll see you next time.